what a weekend. Like literally I had so many things going on this weekend. First of all, we built a trampoline for the kids. Second of all, Jack's baseball team, nine and 10 year olds, had an all-star game. I got to use the Fringa Pro with my Canon 70 to 200 lens. That's gonna be coming up soon. Thirdly, my wife Elizabeth had a birthday and I had a band to go photograph so she came along for the ride, had some friends and we had a whole lot of fun and I got to embarrass her just a little bit. <laughs> All that right after this intro. Trampoline was super awesome, but Jack's baseball game. Okay, so Jack was in an all-star baseball tournament, and so I grabbed my Canon 70 to 200 first edition glass. The reason why I'm telling you this is because Canon's lenses now have Mark II or even Mark III versions of their lenses, and the optics and the um, technology in my version lens, the first edition lens, doesn't talk to all of the awesomeness that these new cameras can do. So my camera with that lens and the Fringa Pro, the fact that it works as good as it does, that little bit of something that's kind of there, if I had the Mark II lens, dude, I guarantee you that thing would be fast. And um, it still works really good for me, but I'm used to it, you know? These are some of the images from the All-Star game. Look at how sharp these are. And the quality of the Fuji X-T3's RAW file actually allows me to crop the image and it's still crazy sharp. That's awesome, dude. It's awesome knowing that you have that kind of leniency in your files because if it's sharp, you're okay. If you have a little bit of eh, you can't crop because all you're doing is enlarging the problems of your image. So if you have a good image, you're golden. Video is awesome. Rewind, play it, cool. Stills is a different ball game. Creating imagery that tells a story with a still photograph, I personally find that to be very, very difficult because it's all about timing. It's all about right place at the right time. It's all about proper exposure of the way and the mood that you're trying to explain to your viewer, this is what's happening. This was what happened. So I know it's just an, I know it's just a baseball team you're looking at right now, but seeing everybody scream for Jack running down the first baseline to get there. The catcher is trying to throw him out. The first baseman has his foot in the bag. He's waiting for that ball and you can see the anguish of Jack's face and all the effort he's giving to get to first base. And the cool thing is about this image compared to the other image where he was on the bag, got past it. This image is when all the action in the story actually is happening. He's not there yet. That anticipation, everybody's, oh, that is what is in this photograph, okay? Not the fact that he made it on bag, he didn't make it on bag. No, all of the energy that was happening in that moment is in this picture. So even if this was not my kid, the image speaks to me. I can see action in a still image. That's cool. It just is. Let me give you a little tip of what I learned about using the Fringa Pro on this lens. Again, this is the first edition lens. This lens does not have the, there's a couple of thingies down there that those no lenses have that talks to the technology of the camera better. So this autofocus on here is great, but the new membranes of the newer lenses, I'm gonna have to rent one to see the difference. It does work very well though. If you have the exact same equipment that I do and you're focusing, you have it on zone, you have your continuous mode on so it's constantly going. What I found about continuous 
is that if you're in the same zoom range and you're moving your lens, that's one thing. But you know how you zoom in to somewhere to see what's going on and, you, and your finger's still on that continuous focus, right? And then you rack out, then you rack in. Since this is the first version lens, what I found that really helped out a lot is when you put the focusing mode on single servo, just the square. And the reason why is it'll lock on an image and that's where it stops. So you can move around, do what you want to do. On continuous, continuous is using <clears throat> all of these optics that aren't designed for new equipment. So it's working a little harder than it needs to. So you as the photographer, help these guys out a little bit, put it on single servo and go. Once you have that, that zoned area, like, okay, I'm good, I, I like where I am, you can put it on continuous, but you're taking a chance on when it's gonna hunt, and that's not cool, you know what I mean? If there's anything I have learned this weekend is how important it is to spend time with your friends and your family. I know we're all busy, but if the summer gives you some time, take it wisely and just know that today, there's only one day, man. Nobody knows about tomorrow, and you can't change the past. So look, I had a fantastic weekend. I'm glad I had a little bit to uh, share with you guys. Sometimes hitting record is the hardest part. Um, the editing may take time, but you have to capture it first. <sighs> oh, I tell you, this vlogging thing. Thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you, and I tell you what, you're gonna like the next couple of videos, man. I'm gonna go off the grid a little bit here and uh yeah if you're a subscriber and the bell's checked on you'll know you'll know when it's coming stay focused on your dreams you guys all right peace Y'all ready?